Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Rami here with your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update for Thursday, September 17th. Where did the year go? We're wearing sweaters already here in New York. Crazy. Anyway, in this stimulus update, we'll talk about big time reactions from everyone about the incredible $1.5 trillion bipartisan bill. Donald Trump spoke out about it. Spoiler alert, he's, he's pretty much ready to sign it. We'll also see what Mitch McConnell had to say, a bunch of House Democrats, very interesting what they said, and also what Nancy Pelosi said. Not taking sides here, but not sure how she can be the Speaker of the House again after what she's doing with this stimulus package and her hair salon scandal. Do you think she'll get re-elected? Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about that. And don't forget to please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so I can update you on everything regarding the second stimulus check and stimulus package plus more money and finance news. All right, guys, President Donald Trump took to Twitter yesterday and called out Democrats and Republicans. He said Democrats are heartless. They don't want to give stimulus payments to people who desperately need the money and whose fault it was not that the plague came in from China. Go for the much higher numbers of Republicans. It all comes back to the USA anyway, one way or another. Yes, listen, hate him or love him. I agree with every word he said here. Democrats are heartless when they say that the beautiful $1.5 trillion bipartisan bill that has second and third stimulus checks, unemployment boost, rental assistance, food aid, state and local government money, useless and falls short of helping the struggling American families. So what's the alternative? Give the people nothing? Oh, and guess what some Democrats were thinking of doing? They actually wanted Pelosi to put the $3.4 trillion bill back on the House floor for another vote. Kind of to make a statement, and even Nancy Pelosi said no to that. There are some insane politicians out there representing us, guys. We have to vote carefully and really think who we are putting out there to work for us. On top of the tweets, President Trump spoke yesterday at a press conference where he talked a lot about the status of the pandemic, of course. Then he said, I like the larger amount. I've said that some of the Republicans disagree, but I think I can convince them to go along with that because I like the larger number. I want to see people get money. Then he went on to say, we're getting closer. We should have an agreement. People should be helped and they should be helped as rapidly as possible. And I think it's going to happen. This is, uh, this is a lot of pressure on his political party, the Republicans, but it seems like at least some Republicans might be on board and even Mitch McConnell might be on board with this. Remember, as far as the Senate goes, we don't need all Republicans or all Democrats to vote on this. If we can get 60 total senators who are more in the center, we can have this thing passed in the Senate. Senate Majority Mitch McConnell had this to say on Twitter, even Speaker Pelosi's own House Democrats are sick of her blocking stimulus relief, but she insists anything short of her multi-trillion dollar wish list would make Democrats a cheap date. What a joke. People are hurting, they need help, not the Speaker's pointless political games. He also said Pelosi was too concerned with her personal ego to compromise and Democrats were intent that working families cannot receive any more relief until election day. And, and that's very, very true. I really wish the House can vote on this without Nancy Pelosi somehow. It's very clear that this is all a politics. I mean, Nancy Pelosi is still saying it isn't about finger pointing. It's about meeting the needs of the American people. And that's why we have this impasse at this time. So yes, Nancy Pelosi still thinks that the $1.5 trillion bill is not helping the American people. Not sure which American people she's concerned about here. Definitely not you and me or the 29 million people who are still unemployed and face evictions if this bill with $25 billion in rental and mortgage assistance doesn't pass. And what's amazing is that many House Democrats are speaking out against Nancy Pelosi now. You have Representative Max Rose, who is a Democrat from New York, saying this is a failure of leadership across the board, Democrats and Republicans. Yet another demonstration of why the American people hate politics. Also, House Representative Alyssa Slotkin, a Democrat from Michigan, saying, I hope very much that leadership hears us in the Senate, the House and the White House. None of us want to go back to our constituents and say that we didn't try, that we didn't do everything we could. And the best one I like here is from Representative Kathleen Rice, a Democrat from New York. 
She said, when I speak to my constituents, they don't ask me why Mitch McConnell isn't doing anything. They ask me what our Democratic majority is doing to work around him. And that seemed to be the sentiment I felt from you guys in the comments on my video yesterday. Many of you said you are Democrats or lean left and were really frustrated with how the Democrats have handled the stimulus package and annoyed at the comments that came out yesterday from a group of House Democrats saying that the $1.5 trillion bipartisan bill doesn't do anything and doesn't help, which is, which is just ridiculous. So we'll see what happens, guys. There's a lot of pressure building on Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats. And she said that the House is not leaving D.C. until an agreement is reached. So let's hope they finalize something by the end of this month. We can only hope and I'm still optimistic, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Please hit the like button on the video, share this video and subscribe if you haven't already and click that notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos for you. And make sure to check the link in the description for the SoFi Money account, which is a checking slash savings account, not a stocks account or an investment account. If you open an account using the link below and deposit $500, you'll get a $50 bonus. Then you can refer your family and friends and get $50 from every referral up to $10,000 per year. So that's a great way to make some extra cash right there. Also, don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and one free stock from Webull, potentially worth up to $1,600 when you deposit only $100, which is just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. All the links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.